Yes. Hey class, how's it going today? And so today we're going to Shapes and the Real World. Hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys are going to have fun with this, because I know I am. Let's do it. Our objective, we students will be able to, will be able to identify different shapes with their properties and measurements by making a prayer model. Sweet. So for, for our bell today, we're just going to go, um, I just want you guys to pair up with someone, or you guys to do it with multiple people, maybe two. Let's talk about some shapes you see in the real world, just some examples you want to do. And you guys can go ahead and do that, okay? Oh, yes. I guess you Okay, I'm hearing some good stuff out there. I mean, really big stuff sounds good. Um, Derek, can you give me an example you guys talked about right now? Well, we said that this whiteboard is a rectangle. A rectangle? Sweet, love that. Then, Colby? Oh, sorry, I mean, <laughs> That's a sphere, I guess. It was like, well, oh, a sphere? A ball? Uh, a ball? Like a basketball? Yeah. Like a soccer ball? Yeah. Whatever sport you like? Not a football. Not a football. It's like big game clips. Very good observation, Chloe. A lemon. A lemon. <laughs> Alright, just you know, so you guys should know this vocab already, but we're just going to go through it just so you can go along with the lesson. So we got parallel lines. Which, um, Tank, you are a uh, multi you know what they are again? Parallel lines? Sweet, love it, love it. And our next one, we got perpendicular lines. Can you give me an example of our, can you tell me what that is, Jasmine, real quick? Angle? Yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect. Perfect. Then congruent, um, lady, can you give me a congruent? Like, what does it mean? <laughs> Oh, okay. Here, I'll give you a hint real quick. I just want to help her out. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. It's basically when a line is like, when the distance of the lines are the same, but they're not the same line. So it's like two sides of a triangle can be congruent because they're the same length. Yes, yeah. perfect, perfect. Go ahead and say thank you, lady. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I got angle, all of it. Can you move it? Oh, I was going to say with the congruent angles, the opposite. Yes, that's a very good observation. Perfect observation. Um, an angle yeah. is just the degree of where the two lines intersect. Love that, love that. And then I'll take line since it's easy. Just, just a line. I want the easy ones, give you guys the tough ones. Then adjacent, do you, do you know what adjacent is, Colby? Is it like, I'm not sure. Uh, is it like kind of like the opposite? Is that what I mean? Yeah, I'll give you a hint real quick, all right? So Jasmine, and this wall, they're adjacent to each other. So they're next to each other. Mm. Then we talk about something that's in between the adjacent lines, like an angle between the adjacent lines. Like I'll be the angle between these two things because they're next to each other. You kind of following with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. Let's go to the triangle right here. Just pretend this is the right angle. I'm not my artist, not a really good artist, guys. So these two angles touching right here, or these two lines, I mean, touching right here, that means these two lines are adjacent to each other. Oh, yeah. Okay. So they're next to and they're touching each other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does it matter what side? No, so this, these two, are, like these two right here, these two lines are adjacent, then these two lines are adjacent. Oh. But not, yeah. Yeah, you guys got it. Sweet. So let's so see, got the vocab down. Go ahead and do some um, more review. The, uh, so, um, I'll go with all of this time. You see the rectangle up there? Can you tell me what kind of lines are the four lines up there? Um, we have two sets of parallel lines. We have the parallel lines that go across and the two parallel lines that go vertical. Yeah, perfect. Love that. Love that. Then, um, lady, can you tell me what these two lines are right here? Yeah, they're adjacent, then, um, then another observation you can make? Yes, and then we call that, let's touch the P. Yes, love that, love it. 
since you, you kind of got this whole stuff down, so go ahead and go to the next part real quick. So we're going to talk about the real world and how these shapes go into the real world. We already kind of talked about it real quick. So I'll go ahead and go with the what's called the Giza or the pyramid Giza Giza pyramids. Yes, Giza pyramids. Yes, in class. Thank you. It's not a history class, but thank you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw it up real quick. Again, not very good at drawing. This is that's a pyramid, guys. That's supposed to be a pyramid. All right. So we can talk about this. So we we'll call it Giza pyramid. There are a lot of Egyptians down right here. Or some tourists actually. The camera. Alright. <laughs> so, so this triangle right here, we can call it an uh, equilateral triangle. Like like this one over here back in the review. Then we could say, then and so analyzing this real world example, we could say that this is a triangular prism, which is like a 3D like model. But looking at 2D, you'll see that there's Three triangles, and it's supposed to be another triangle in the back. Or no, there's not two triangles, three triangles, guys. Not four, not four triangles, guys. Remember? Yeah, so there's like, four. No, there's four D for the one, two. There's four because oh, yeah, yeah, there is four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks, guys. Love that. What's the difference between a square base and a triangle base? I think the triangle base is a triangular prism. Maybe the the square one be like a rectangle, like rectangular triangle hybrid. I don't know what the proper name is. I promise I'll get that name later on in another class. Okay. But thank you for the observation, Colby. Love that. That's what I want from you guys. So we can say in this there's four triangles. You can pretend there's another triangle in the back. Then you can say in this pyramid we have an equilateral equilateral triangle, which has uh, three angles that equal the same. There are three lines, which are, can someone remind me what, when the lines equal each other? Congruent? Perfect. We love that. So then, see, so you can see in the Giza Pyramid, there is an equilateral, equilateral triangle that has congruent angles and congruent sides for that triangle. Then observing from the bottom, which you really can't see in the real world, but if you could actually pick it up like an alien, you can see that at the bottom there is a square. So let's say this is the bottom of the oh, that's nasty. The bottom <laughs> of the pyramid. Then lady, can you give me uh, one property that the square has? Like the bottom of the pyramid? Four right angles? Sweet. Love that. Then all of um, what are the lines called that make the right angle? And what are the lines called that make the oh, right angle? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. Perfect. Love that. On the right, I'm gonna put right angle, just so we can remember that. Then we'll put it right here, perpendicular. I'm gonna abbreviate, abbreviate it as per, just like that. Perfect. Then I'll go ahead. Then um, wait. So Kobe, can you tell me anything, any like shapes you see in this um San Francisco bridge right here? Uh, I guess the squares. The squares right here? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Love that. Then, um, Frank, do you see anything else? Well, I can see that the bridge is, or like the stand is perpendicular to the bridge. Yeah, love that. Love that. And another thing we can say too, like, I know it's like, it looks bad, not perfect, but you can see there's a triangle right here. Like, it's kind of sloped down, but you can just imagine it as a triangle real quick. Please. Use our imaginations. And I'll go ahead and so we got a worksheet to do for this class. Now I want you guys to work in groups or so we we'll can some DD it up if you guys want to work. But don't work by yourself, I don't want that. That's like <laughs> so go ahead and analyze what kind of shapes are in the picture and just put the properties of the shape too. Like is it per they do have perpendicular lines, parallel lines, talk about the congruent angles and the adjacent lines. I'll go ahead or go around and check with you guys. So this one is on a square base. So we have this Yeah. Square. Sweet. So then that means that these lines. Are these two parallel? 
uh, are adjacent. So like these corners show that there's like two adjacent lines that meet up together. Yeah, I love that. Up. That's perfect. And then the square, so the opposite lines are parallel because they never touch. Yeah. So it's so like these lines are here, right? Yeah. On the opposite side. Yeah. Okay. So like this side is parallel to this side. Yeah. Adjacent. Love that. That's perfect. Um, <laughs> what did you say about the parallel things? That this line at the end of the bully is parallel. Oh, yeah. Love that. So Love that. that. Even that even perfect. Oh. Oh, sweet. Um, Told me. That's what's up. That is what's up. Oh, okay. um, Shoot, I remember this one thing. I don't think you can do it with these buildings, but there's this thing called like best Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's why yeah. it's yeah. Like, yeah. technically perpendicular. Because they go into a vanishing point. Mm -hmm. If you were to follow all of these. Okay, that's what, that's what you're doing. That's why I said they're not technically well, I feel, I feel like all in this things angle of the camera they're in parallel, yeah. but it's so you think of like buildings, they throw on streets, right? And the streets are oh, usually on two sides of our parallel. Okay, the buildings usually run like adjacent with them. So, like, so we'll have like the, the, the buildings, the buildings will end up being parallel. But I like that too. Yeah. 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 So, uh, do we do all of ours in parallel? Are we doing all of them or just one? Just one. Okay. Just one. Okay. Just one. Um, you guys can just do two. Okay. Oh. I think. Maybe I just. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was oh, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> but we can use that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. These kind of look like just because of the pictures. So we'll go ahead and bring it back together, guys. You have to finish the rest of it at home for like, just so you can review them. So the next day we'll have a little more background of what we did today, just so you guys can keep it fresh in your minds. Because I do not want to start new and something new without you guys understanding this first. Just because this will help us with the rest of the. The rest of the year. So we'll go ahead and close it up for today, guys. We guys have a great day. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it goes. Beautiful.